Welcome to the Lantern Light Podcast. Lantern Light is an artist collective, publication, and promotional platform focused on shedding light on the talented artists of our hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana, and beyond. Follow us at lanternlightinc.com for updates on future podcasts, live recording sessions, and more. I'm your host, Kyle Erosh, and today's guest is Damon Grimm, band from New Orleans. Their brand new EP, Big Bad Days, just dropped, so we talked about that. We talked about future plans, history of the band, a bunch of cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, I got the guys from Damon Grimm in the stew. What up? What's up, yo? We here. What's up? Cool. So uh, we've been friends for a while. It's good to have you guys in here. Um, Thanks. Congrats on uh, the new EP release. Thank you. Thank you. Big bad days. Preach, brother. What uh? When was what was the release date on that? October eleventh. Cool. So it's been about nineteen. It's been about two weeks. Yeah. How's uh? How's the reception been? Pretty good so far, man. I mean, definitely the most traction that we've had. Dude, video is sick. The video is fun to make, honestly. That was a that was a different dude who made this video than who did the one video that you guys had before, right? Yeah, for sure. The guy, the first one we had, we got that connect from our boys in Hollow City. That dude, he was good. I liked it. I definitely liked that video. He came out from Chicago. But uh, yeah, this one was our friend Pee Wee, who's we've known for like forever. Brandon. He yeah, it's a yeah, it's a high school friend of mine. I've been knowing him forever. He lived in my neighborhood, so it was literally like a person I grew up with. Damn. And uh, yeah, so we thought that it would be good to take someone that's kind of you know, on the same vibe that we're on, trying to come on the come up. So you know, we thought it'd be perfect collab, you know, to do someone that's trying to do the same thing we're doing. Fucking right. And uh, came out awesome, you know. Did he killed it? Yeah. Is he like trying to do the shit more now? Oh yeah, he's uh we were actually his first metal band that he worked with. He yeah. was only worked with rappers beforehand. And a lot of skate videos and BMX videos too. Yeah, dude, it came out super sick. Uh so I guess what y'all just like went on a whim and was like trusting your homie. Like yeah. I mean, I mean the shit he had made, I'm sure it's tight. Yeah, but, we liked the quality and Yeah. Like he had high quality rap videos that were super fun to watch, you know, and then like he brought in in our video, I feel like there was a lot of skate video elements. Yeah, definitely. But because they fit. used they used a VHS camera. I couldn't tell you the exact specs of the camera, but damn, that's it like was what most VHS. of it is. Nah, some of it was like all a the, good. All the all the party scenes really were. Yeah, VHS tape. Yeah, VHS taped. And it he like sick. he rewinded over the tape to get the actual like rewind effect that's in the video. Yeah, like he naturally did that. How long did it take y'all to shoot? Whew. Mm, I'd say, dude. It was over the course of like a, a month. Few weeks. Yeah, like, a, like month. a month. It was over the course. We would do stuff here and there, you know, when we could because we're all, you know, working day to day. So we try to do it when we're free, on, at, take practices to do it. You know, some of the band shots were at practice. And then we try to like get together on a weekend to do some of the, you know, the, the crazy shit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it turned out awesome, man. You know, he gave us a lot of. There was a lot of like free space for everyone to do what they what they wanted to do. So you know, I think he uh, he worked great with our ideas, and you know, he also spit his own elements in, and it turned out fantastic. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely like in brand with the band. Like it looks. Sick. Oh yeah. So definitely. speaking of just like I don't know, I mean the branding of the band and everything. Like, where did you guys get like Damon Grimm from? Like, what's the what's the origin story for the band? Really, I mean, I know you guys started this whole thing as like a. Studio project, right? Like back in the day. Yeah, that so was like, Brock. Yeah, it was my solo project thing I was doing with Jonathan, and had drama. Jake, um, at the time, I don't think we had Jeffrey Eddie. Fisher. Shout yeah. out Jeffrey Fisher. Shout out yeah. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey helped write some of the songs that you know are harder ones. <laughs> yeah, from the shout outs too, I got I got to throw in too. Because our boy Jacob Acevedo threw in some help on the video, too. Hell yeah. yeah. Shout out. So, That's the old homie, which you guys were in a band with. Yep. Some of you guys. Shout out in the building. Shout out in the building? I wasn't in that one, but. <laughs> so how, how long did uh did it go from, like, studio project to, like, I guess, first EP and playing shows? Man. Um, we decided hmm. it was going to be a full band, like pretty much like, after it was recorded. Yeah, I'd say. after it was recorded, 
because y'all heard the EP and y'all were like, oh, wait, it's just tight. Yeah, we're like, we can't not, like, learn this and play it. Yeah, Jonathan was like, yo, this needs to be, like, a A thing. Yeah. Yeah. Which was like, you already had the people recording on it, so, like, why not? Yeah, and I mean, it took me a long-ass time to see y'all, but the last show that you guys played I was at, and it was great. So thank you. I'm glad that you guys got on the shit because it's tight. Fuck yeah. So fuck yeah. So, um... (laughs) So it, uh, that first release, that first EP was like what, 2017? Yes. Yeah. How uh, long? How much time had like been going into it before it dropped? It was we a, recorded a that year? June of 2016 is when it yeah, started. So That's right, if you, you could hear that in Peaceless it, World. It, yeah. Peaceless World yeah. Since 2016. Yeah, that was a that was like a you put that single out first, huh? Yeah, Peaceless yeah. World. That song, the lyrics, goddamn 2016. Which live I change every year. It's gonna <laughs> get interesting next year in 2020. You know. Word. Like, yeah. Goddamn. 2020, like I don't know about the flow, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully the syllables work out. Right, that's that's what it's all about, man. Word, yeah. So for this new, for Big Bad Days new EP, y'all been playing live and yeah, have you know have more experience, like figured out the sound for the band more. We've yeah. all played in bands together too, so we've we vibe off of each other easily. I feel like, which is nice, dude. You know, yeah, and well, being friends, of course, too. But like we've all have experience, like writing and playing with each other and for the past fucking decade probably you know on and off yeah but still what you could tell i mean you could tell this is this is like the band y'all got together after y'all already put y'all reps in and right. got your shit together <laughs> right. so this is this is like everybody coming together that has experience and like you said the chemistry with each other and you right. could tell you know we're all getting older like everyone who's been around like i mean we all came up at the same time at the high ground yeah. You know, and I like to think that, you know, if we're still around then like, unless we all really suck that bad, then we should be getting pretty good by now because it's been fucking right. a decade and y'all, you guys are definitely doing great, man. Sounds sick. I but, appreciate uh, that, man. So, yeah. Uh, so I guess what what informed the writing process for Big Bad Days as opposed to the first EP? Obviously, you guys are playing together. Obviously, it's a little bit more uh, probably um, team effort, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you could hear all, this is all of our influences straight up, like, coming together, I feel like, for the first time. Whereas, like, it did in the studio, but it was more or less, like, let's make, for the first self-titled, to just make the heaviest fucking, Mm. most whatever shit, like, you know, whatever Brock wanted, kind of, you know? That was, was like, really what I wanted, but this this EP's more ideas we jammed. Yeah, and brought to the studio. So this is not really like a what we've written in the studio. We kind of just brought ideas we writ, we wrote at practice, and then just worked on it at the studio. Right. So instead of uh, chopping it up in the studio and then learn how to play it live, it was oh, best believe the opposite, we still right? chopped it up some oh, shit yeah. up in the studio. Yeah, we <laughs> chop and screw all the time. Yeah. Uh, There's some songs like I said, that this was this was ideas we went yeah. into the studio with, and it kind of developed from there. Right. Yeah. For sure. They they fully came together. Cause like the cool thing about us, dude, I feel like 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 I said, we've been playing together for so long. Like we like can jam together for like we'll play. He'll come up with like a riff. Brandon will come up with a riff in his head, or you know he'll play it. Brock will feed off of that shit. And Nick will follow, and like I'll just throw some improv lyrics over, just whatever the vibe of it is. Yeah. But like we'll play something for like six, ten minutes, you know, and then. Just like playing it, constructing yeah. it, but just like continuously like flowing. Doing yeah, we get a, we get some friends that come over sometimes at practice, and we'll do shit like that, and they'll be like, "Man, is that new song y'all are working on?" It's like nah, never played that before. No, dude, ever. Just yeah. jam, dude. that was all improv. Like, like I wish we could like totally shit. have recorded that. Actually, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. how you know that. Uh, there's like some grim songs. The chemistry is definitely there. That that's existed that will yeah. never exist ever again, you know. And it's like, <laughs> damn Lost it. that shit to the ether, dog. <laughs> right. Shit, that's cool. So, uh, was there anything specifically that y'all were like having, like thinking of intentionally going into the writing process for this that that was maybe influencing y'all a little bit differently in the first time? Mm. Like, obviously, you said the first time, so. y'all were just trying to be pissed, or you know, it was like a big focus on just making shit slap hard as fuck. But man, it's you know. a mixture between of like. Bands that I've been listening to for so long and that where I was in my headspace at the time, you know? Because, like, we were all going through some shit during the writing process of this EP, which is, like, why it meant so much to us to put it out, you know, at the time. But, like, these songs are, like, five, what I say, piss and emotional songs, you know? And it's just, you know, 
each song is just pretty much like where we were at at the time of writing it, you know, yeah. you know, and uh, it's like it's like sitting at down, like I mean, if you listen to it lyrically, like a therapy session, you know, because I can't afford that shit, so <laughs> I put it out with these dudes, and they they put the the music is like it's just the right vibe for what I feel like I gotta say. I was reading uh the like Spotify description preparing for our interview today. <laughs> and uh no, nah, I mean I really like, you know, what the fuck you're saying. I mean, you're just making the point like, yo, this is like, you know, how I cope right with this writing process. You know, like Damon Grimm, I feel like to us is kinda like this single entity of like this one person that the four of us get to be together and like just that's the mad the mad version of us, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. We get to go get our aggression out, our stress and all that, just so we don't have to wear it out in our daily life, hopefully. Mm. You know what I mean? Of course it happens. But I feel like the band makes me like a better person, kind of, honestly. Yeah. Makes me, it's making me push harder to do things that I right. never thought I could, you know? Like, as we're writing these songs, man, uh, I mean, I'm going through it, you know? Like, I'm, I'm like, we have, like, fucking all the songs... Not all the songs, but we have a good bit of songs written. Some stuff that we haven't even didn't even put on the EP, of course, too. But like, we just had all these songs, and I was like crunching to like write lyrics last minute, just because of all the bullshit I was dealing with, with like mm. where I was at in my life outside of the band and shit, with like personal relationships with people and shit, mm -hmm. and like specifically like Riverbed Deadner, dude. Like that song is so angry and pissed off because like literally while I was writing with writing that song I'm like fighting with somebody about like separated myself from this person that day to specifically go write a song because of course I procrastinate sometimes fucking fuck me that's how it is but, dude you know but then like you know I ended up working out for the better I guess because I was just fucking angry dude and you know like and I'm a kind of person who's like after you put it out you're like man I feel bad but like fuck it nah dude that's <laughs> real art though yeah. you know what I mean like sorry I was mad but, like, you know. Can't take it back now. That shit's, but, you know. that shit's on iTunes, baby. Yeah, that shit's, <laughs> that shit's out there. There's, like, there's like 45 listeners in, in Germany on Spotify. Shout, Shout out. out. Shout out. Uh, Shout out. Uh, if you're in Germany right now. Hola. Fuck, yeah. Thank ah. you. <laughs> the Lantern Light Podcast primarily listening to you in uh, Hamburg, Germany. Now that'd be tight, though. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> Man, we'll get it there, bro. Like. One day we'll get it there. I believe that all man. of us are going somewhere. Dude, this scene's tight, man. I ain't gonna if they're lie. real fans, they'll follow us anywhere. Right? Y'all got a uh, y'all got a little run coming up. Yes, yes. Finally, getting our our little toesies wet. You know, uh, it's not it's not like super crazy. It's just a Thursday night EP release show. Uh, we uh, booked that kind of last minute, so it's all the way November as what's, compared to being you know the October eleventh. No. Uh, November 7th. Yes, November 7th. Where? Uh, at Howlin' Wolf in New Orleans. On the porch. On the porch. On a poach. Poach hand. We're going to have uh, Swamp Stank, uh, Brave New World. Who From is Pensacola, also, Florida. Who is also helping us, going to be with us on the run. Yeah, so shout, shout out, out to Brave guys. New World for, for helping us like get our ass out of Louisiana, too. They, yeah, uh, they, they played a big. show around here recently, And right? shout out yeah. Decoy, too. They're, they're opening that show for us. Oh, hell yeah. yeah so. shout I out know Decoy. you just you just did some work with them. Yep, recording Decoy right now. It's slapping. Uh, slapping hard. Ooh, definitely. Slapping shout out to them, them cheeks. They put, they put in the work. <laughs> shout out, it's going to be like the, the... We should have a counter. If, there was like, if we were recording ding. our faces right now, you know, like on the side of the screen, there would be like a... Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna when I edit that. this podcast, I'm gonna put little bells in on every <laughs> shout out. And if you listen to it this far and you've heard no bells, then you know that uh, I'm too lazy. We've said shout out thirty times so far, probably. Shout out, shout ding out. ding. Should I, should I ding? Should I put a ding for every shout out or for every time we say shout out? Either or, man. Yeah, Both. it's gonna keep coming too. Man, I feel it. Su surprise them. <laughs> All right, um, cool. Yeah, Brave New World played a show here recently, right? Yeah, we were actually. F Fortunate enough to meet them on that show. Uh, Hollow City was, they did a little run with them too. So they they just have like connections here or like? Yeah, they're from Pensacola. You know, Pensacola is like kind of, at least the past few years I've played been playing music like, <clears throat> excuse me. They're like, in the, they're like, 
I don't know. It's not. They're not in the scene, but they're like close yeah. enough. No, we're all. Like, there's like, that feud. Yeah, we're like, like, we both live in the South, and we both get skipped over for tours. And <laughs> very much so. <laughs> yes. Right. We're gonna do our. We're gonna do our own. Right. <laughs> That's the point. Our own what? Yeah, our own what? I forgot. What were you talking? Our own what? what? Saying, bro. Our own what? Tour. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll make our own run through there. There's that what yeah, you're saying. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. y'all y'all plan a couple nights like going going to. So uh, after uh, after the seventh at Howlin' Wolf. We're going to uh, Tallahassee. I think the venue's called uh, uh, the, the Warrior, Warrior on the River. Yeah, dude. So if you're hard. in Tallahassee listening to this podcast, first off, thank you. You rule, and come see us play in your town. <laughs> Hell yeah! Um, you guys got like a fucking like a van. We are about to buy a van. About to buy a van, dude. We're we about are about in to, the about world. To here ch- first, ladies and gentlemen. It's just <laughs> getting real, dude. Tight. We, we are the getting real wheels. deal. Y'all, uh, y'all have one like. You looking at? Yeah, man. Used, hella used. Hell yeah, hella used, but hella cheap. It's gonna do the job for us. Fucking right, dude. It's got AC. For now. For now. For now. (laughs) But that's all that matters. (laughs) It'll get us from point A to B. Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. What are y'all trying to do in the near future, as Damon Grimm? Well, you know, this can be the rest of this podcast, or I could literally say. Everything, <laughs> you know, like literally just that is the word. Like we want to do as much as we, we can, man. I mean, yeah. as you know, cliches it may be, you know, shoot for the fucking moon, land among the stars, you know. Fucking right. Definitely. You know, so like a year from now, I hope that we can like be playing like more than just weekend runs. Yeah. Go out for a few weeks, you know, hopefully some people are interested in us and want to join the team, join the family, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's going to be is our goal is trying to like tour, tour and establish, it, you, know, year, you know, yeah, well, s- establish I mean, a team for sure. Yeah. And I think one thing that benefits you, too, is like, you know, Brock, Brandon, like, I mean, y'all like work in the industry and yeah. have done a bunch of industry work in yeah. general. So that I mean, all the connections, all that stuff pays off for your band. Yeah. You know? Yeah, most definitely. So I just think I think you're doing it all right. Um what what do you want like people to take away from your music, man? On, like whatever they want, honestly, because to each their own. Like, I don't, you know, if everybody loved everything, it would be beautiful, of course. But I feel like, but people are busters, dude. Music's meant to like challenge its listeners to an extent, you know, like real music, dog. Right? There wouldn't like everything shouldn't be for everybody, like. Taste wise, you know, everything's mm. open for everybody. Like you're more than welcome to listen to whatever you want, do whatever you want. You know what I mean? But taste wise, you might not be into it, and that's totally fine, you know? Mm. But I I mean, Grimm's not for everybody, obviously. Like if we wanted to be for everybody, I wouldn't scream at all, I guess. Yeah. But I do like to sing just to kind of like I mean, I love singing for one and I've been getting I was gonna ask that. Yeah, that's, that's a good I guess yeah, I sing a lot more on the EP. Yeah, Every was song that intentional? Sing- yeah, one hundred percent. Like, how how involved was Jonathan with the writing process on this last one? He's always pretty involved for to an extent, you know. Right. Like, we bring him a we pretty much bring him a nice skeleton, you know, whether it's just an idea I have or it's a full skeleton, and he pretty much, you know, pieces everything together in the right spots it needs to be. You know, cool. maybe we won't always, you know, put something. Where it needs to be, and yeah. he just kind of you know cleans everything up. You it's know, he's year. he'll tell yeah, us if something know? sucks too. You know, Fucking right? Yeah, like, dude, that sucks. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah, he's not afraid to be straightforward with us, which is what we need. You know, yeah. we call sometimes him Pops, dad. Yeah, yeah, he he's definitely shout out, Ding, Jay Jonathan. Dolis. Yep, Dolis man, Concrete Studios. Yeah, that dude. That dude's definitely fucking Killing insane. That's our membrane. Man. Fucking right. Straight up, like. Yeah, dude. Like he, I said, he, the mix sounds he great. He takes oh, care of us, dude. Like, he, he really should. does. Hell yeah. So we we are forever grateful to that man right there. Fucking right. Got the got the dream team. You cooking up. Got all the ingredients, dog. Yeah. The you cake looks beautiful. It tastes good. I'm fucking with it. We're just trying to, you know, trying to do it. But yeah, yeah, dude. Like, so, I mean, a year, a year in retrospect, I hope that we can be like on the road more often and just getting our name out there, you know? Like, I feel like, like our scene itself here, you know, what's left of it and it's going through its phases, but like, I like, 
It's on I'm the up pretty right now. proud of where it's at and it's it growing right back. Yeah, it's much better than it has been. 100% in the last Most few definitely. years. This last yeah. year or two has been great. And then, too, like, there's nothing more supportive than, like, all the local bands here because, like, I feel like everybody at a show yeah. is mostly, like, other band people, even if they're not mm. playing. Like, yeah. The bands here, like, even if they can't make everything, you know, because it's hard to, you know, we're all growing up. Fuck That's yeah. why we need an all-age fucking venue, for yeah. one. But, uh, no, nah, dude, it's like, you feel the love here, for sure. Yeah, I will say, I feel like, now that we're older and shit, like, I don't feel any of that, like, weird, competitive, weird bullshit no. anymore. No, it's like, everybody's kind of, like, boasting each other up. Yeah, you know? which, like, you know, That's like, that nice. whole, that whole, like, argument is, like, is music, like... A competition or not and it shouldn't be but obviously to like all of us who do play music like you know you show up to a show and you be like oh you see somebody play good like friendly competition is good like oh shit like yeah I'm not yeah. trying to let homie like show me up like you know what i'm saying right but, right you know i think that'll always be but that's a good that's, that's a good, good that's like healthy, yeah because yeah, it makes you want to like you know it amps you up to do good right like but that's what that's all I feel like it is now. As long it's just as you're positive. not cocky or douche about right, yeah, it i think it's just know? we're all killing it and it just boosts everybody right you yeah. know, I don't feel any weird animosity anymore. Like, if you come with how tight knit our scene is right now, and everyone being friends, it's like if you come with some bullshit, you ain't, you ain't gonna last long. No, not at all. Because you're not gonna have support from anybody. No. <laughs> you know, it's like so. I really appreciate like the home the home scene, dude. But you know, after this show, we've we've played here enough, dude. You can't overplay, dude. Right. Like uh-huh. we have we have our friends and our fans from here that like aren't immediate friends, you know, and that like support us and love that shit. Forever grateful. So now we need to try to get that in other places too, you know? And like definitely for sure. When we come back, you know, Maybe the shows will be like just a little bigger because we haven't played a hundred fucking times. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, there's a band that I won't mention the name from uh, from like home area. Super good, super talented. Everyone likes their shit. Uh, one of the, like one of the most talented groups of musicians. But they like went through some shit with an album cycle that like took forever, and they just played a bunch over and over and over again, the same set. To the point where, like, you know, it's like everyone fucks with them, but, like, no one wants to see them anymore. Right. You know, now they're better because they're they're better off in that uh, respect because they stopped playing for a while. Right. But it's very easy to overplay, you know? No, easily. Especially in our scene where it's like, you know, I mean, it's like us booking the shows, you know what I mean? Like, (laughs) Right. So, uh, like, you hit up your friends to, to book you shows, you know? I mean, you know, I hope to, like an extent to like the people you network and connect with to to become friends with as well you know what i mean but you can't be tight with everybody no especially not wait like home's easy you know yeah for sure and we're ready to get the hell out of here dude yeah like really like just get on the road good travel dude if like I, if, we want to show other people to see if they like it or not. Definitely. You know? yeah. Or if it's just our friends that like us. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um all right, so for for everyone who I guess like isn't in the same boat right now, like what advice can you give to somebody for like staying consistent, you know what I mean? Cuz it's hard, you know. Like I I it's hard for me, I'm sure it's hard for y'all, but like how do you what what keeps you able to like keep doing the band consistently at this point because you already you're in you're on the second you know record cycle basically like yeah you can't like drop the ball really i feel know? like this is the first one almost right. like, as like the new damon Grimm. i feel like we just were weren't in in this mindset when we like i wish we were off of that first ep because mm-hmm. i feel like even that music could have like if we if we were able to tour off of that like this release right now would have been that much bigger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of course. But, and like, I feel like we could have toured off of that. You know, people, people liked that and I enjoyed playing it for what it was, but I definitely like the new music. Right. A fucking lot more. That's how it goes. But I do like playing the old shit still. But, you know, tour, dude. Tour? But tour, bro. How, how, how do you stay consistent and not burn out, I guess? It's our therapy. Right. <laughs> yeah. If we don't do it, we get burnt out, I feel like. We may go nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keeps Honestly, you. like, I don't... It's, like, what I look forward it's to. It's mandatory, yeah. Yeah, after, like, a week of work, our two practice days, I'm, like, excited for us. Like, yeah, God, we practice twice a week, every week. 
Wish we had more free time to focus on it. Yeah, yeah that's the game, man. Like, like you know, just, I'm learning so much right now. You know, right? Just like just by taking this like more serious than we ever have. You know? Oh man, yeah. There's so many aspects. I mean, there's the music side of it. There's the marketing We're, side of yeah, it. Yeah. There's the, quote quote unquote not fun shit. You know? Yeah, yeah. Business but, shit, dude. Yeah, no, but like, you know, like watching Shark Tank, dude. Yeah, dude. That show, it's like, it's almost like, I feel like being in a band, like if you're one of those business people coming in there, it's like, they're the bands, then all the sharks are like management and record labels, and they're just like, all right, what fucking product do you have? All right, product's cool. What are your numbers? Oh, your numbers suck. Fuck off, you know? Yeah. It's like, damn, fuck, you know? Like, I feel good about our product, you know? Just... That's the thing. You yeah, keep you, running up you the focus, numbers. And you focus so much on like writing music, right? And then right. when the music's tight, you're like, oh, wait, shit, now what? Right, now you know what? what? I mean? Like, right. the music's tight, like, fuck. And then it's just figuring out everything past that. Right. I mean, I guess, <laughs> and I guess that's why like management and all that shit even exists, which like, regardless of what you, if, if you think it's like, you know, worth it or not in today's age when like, you know, I think it's worth it. Independent, you can do a lot, but. You if make it more, wasn't needed, they wouldn't exist. Right. Like, you can, give or take, make more money independently if you're, like, kick ass at what you do. I feel like if you're already established and you can figure out a way to be independent, then that's tight. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But You yeah. rock for that. Teach me. <laughs> nah, for sure, dude. So, yeah, no, nah, I mean, it's just a, it's a big, long journey, and there's a lot of fucking moving parts to it, but uh, you guys yeah. definitely have the fucking music down, so you just got to build on Appreciate that. Appreciate that, man. Just got to keep on striking the fucking hammer on that shit. Oh, yeah. Right. You know? It's nonstop yeah. motion, dude. I mean, if you just keep banging out quality content, like, motherfuckers can't not notice. Like, dude, honestly, like, I would, like, we, so our YouTube channel, all right, laugh, we can laugh at us for this one, like, uh, we lost our original Damon Grimm email <laughs> for, like, a few years, or, like, a year or so. We had to make a new one, so we had to start a new fucking uh, YouTube channel for the new music, vi- or for actually for the lyric video for Riverbed Deadner. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Pee Wee, Pee Wee and Jacob, whenever they came out to one of our shows at like Southport a while back, we posted like this thirty second clip on our YouTube just to like have content in our YouTube. Yeah. Which brings me to the fact, like, of what you were saying, like, just so you could see our stupid fucking faces, fucking Nick down here. Like, this dude's goofy as funny, shit, bro. man. He's got, like, funny, machine gun <laughs> Manny in his pocket, bro. And I feel like... Dude, yeah, you need to put that on the band You just shit. need to make, like, some goofy <laughs> videos. And, no, like, true, dude. people appreciate that. Just so you can see, like, us being fucking stupid or whatever, you know? Like, what I've been learning, dude, is, like, if you... If people see a human face, they're going... Like, I forgot where I heard this. But statistically, if they see a human face, they're, like, way more probable to engage... And shit, like no, I guess the general public. Yeah, so that's I like why, like, at you just people be a, with nice faces. Just be an e thought. I like looking at people without nice faces. Like, yeah, there you yeah. go. Cool. What uh, what song should we should we lead out from the EP on? Oh man, what y'all think? Go with Big hmm. Bad Days. Hmm. <laughs> Title track or like? Not resuscitate. That song's pretty Ooh, hectic. Yeah, it sounds hard. That. Or wax, or wax. wax is tight. I think wax. I think wax. Yes. Wax, wax, dude. Y'all about to get waxed. Y'all about to get waxed. All right, Damon Graham. Thanks for coming in. Love y'all. Thank you for having us. Man. Thank cool. you so we'll much. We'll do another one soon. Oh yeah. yeah.